Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Modified Bar. My name is Bryn. If you're new to this class or any of our online classes, please make sure you consult with your doctor or a physical therapist just to make sure that it's safe for you. We're going to get started on the floor today. We're going to start in a um, tabletop position. So on our hands and knees, feel free to grab a pillow or a um, blanket folded up for your knees if that's more comfortable for your wrist. So we want our hips over our knees and our shoulders over our wrist here. Let's start with just some uh, cat cows. So at your own pace, curving over, pushing away from the ground, and then letting the torso sink towards the ground, bringing your focus up towards the ceiling as comfortably as you can. Just warming up our torso, pull the belly button in as you pull your back up towards the ceiling. Awesome, let's do two more here. Perfect, all right, let's land back in our neutral tabletop position. From here, let's extend out opposite arm and leg into a bird dog. Reach nice and long, place that hand and leg down and switch to the other side. And now at your own pace, just continue here. Pulling the belly button in towards our spine, reaching nice and long. Pretend someone's pulling your hand and arm in opposite directions. Awesome, a few more here again at your own pace. Once you get to your right hand and left leg extended, I want you to hold there. And we're gonna hold here eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and place that hand down, keep your leg lifted and let's pulse the leg up here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let's do some rainbows with that leg. So tap the toe down to the left and then bring it up and over to the right. And keep going here. We have eight, seven, six, five. Try to keep the rest of your body as still as possible. Keep that belly button pulled in. We have three, two, one, and reach nice and long, and relax, awesome. Let's sit back into a child's pose for a few breaths here before we go back to our other side. Relax the torso down towards the floor, sit back into your hips, and come back up to your tabletop position. Make sure your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. And now let's go back to just reaching out, and bringing the hand and leg down at your own pace here. Reaching nice and long, keeping the belly button pulled in. Feel the hamstrings and glutes working to lift that back leg, keeping it in parallel. Awesome, next time you get to the left arm and right leg extended, hold there. And we're gonna hold here, eight, seven, keep pulling that belly button in. Five, four, three, two, one, and place that hand down, keeping your leg lifted. Let's pulse up here. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now some rainbow. So tap that leg down and up and over and tap. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, and bring that leg up, reach nice and long, place it down, and again, sit back into that child's pose. From here, we're gonna warm up the hips a little bit. Let's lie on one side with both knees bent. So try your best to bring your shoulders, your hips, and feet in one line here. Now it's hard to check your own form, do your best. And now from here, pulling the belly button in, keeping our hips pointing forward, trying to keep everything super still, just lifting that top leg. Let's do eight and down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now let's pulse. So only come down halfway and back up. We have eight, seven, six, five four, three, two, one, and let's straighten that top leg. So we're still keeping those hips stacked right on top of each other. 
And let's lift here, feeling those muscles, our hip abductors muscles working as we lift that top leg. Awesome, we have four, three, two, one, and a one count of eight of pulsing. So down just halfway and back up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Awesome, let's do all of that one more time on the side, then we'll switch back to our clamshells. We have one and lower, two, three, keep up pulling the belly button in, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now we pull. So just drop that knee halfway and back up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower, straighten that top leg. And last time, leg raises. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there. Three, two, one, and we pulse. Just drop halfway and lift up. Keep everything else super still. We have four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. And roll onto your other side. Same thing here, starting with our clamshells. So knees are bent. Try to keep your feet, hips, and shoulders all in line here. Pulling the belly button in, keep those hip bones pointing straight forward. We lift up one and lower two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we pull, so just come down halfway with that knee and lift up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and straighten that top leg. Check your form here, make sure your hips are stacked right on top of each other. We lift up one and down, two, all the way down, three, reaching nice and long with that leg. We have five, six, seven, eight, and we pulse. So down just halfway, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower, bend the knee, back to clamshells. One more round here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower just halfway and pulse. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower the knee, straighten the leg. Last time, straight leg raises. We have one and down, two, three, four, almost there, five, six, seven, eight, and we pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower, and relax. And let's roll onto our back here. We're gonna end with some glute bridges. All right, so back is flat on the floor, pulling the belly button in towards the spine, making sure our knees, hips, and feet are all in a parallel straight line coming from the hip. And let's lift here and squeeze the glutes together and lower. And again, lift, squeeze the glutes and lower. We have three, awesome, four, Four more, we're gonna hold on that last one. Six, seven, last one, we lift and hold eight, hold and squeeze here. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your bridge position here. And now this is optional, you can either keep holding or go back to your regular bridges. We're gonna march. Pulling the knee in towards your chest, keeping the belly button pulled in, core engaged. Push into the heel of the foot that is on the ground. And let's do another eight count here. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower and rest. Let's do a little bit of stretching before we stand up and go to our bar. So pull your right knee in towards your chest. Let's take a couple of deep breaths here. And pull your knee slightly just across your chest to your left shoulder. Feel that stretch a little bit more on that outer hip area. One more big deep breath here. 
Awesome. Bend your left knee. Bring your right ankle to your left knee. Push the right knee away from you. If you want a deeper stretch, you can hug your hands around your left thigh. So you're creating to simplify things. You're making a figure four shape with your legs. Awesome. One more deep breath here. Perfect. And lower the legs. Now hug your left knee in towards your chest. Same two stretches on this side. Pull that knee towards your right shoulder just slightly. Try to relax into the stretch. Take nice deep breaths. Awesome. Now bend your right knee. Bring your left ankle to your right knee and gently press your left knee away from you. Feel that stretch deep in your left hip. If you want a deeper stretch, lift your right leg wrap by wrapping your hands around your thigh and pulling the legs in towards your chest. And again, relax into your stretch. Take a couple of nice deep breaths. Awesome. And straighten out the arms and legs. One big full body reach here. And let's roll on up and make our way to standing. We're gonna to go to our bar for our variations at the bar. I'm just gonna push this table back a little bit. Let's see my feet. Okay. Just double check, you can see my feet there. Perfect, okay. Let's start with our plies. So we're gonna start with our left hand on the bar. We're gonna bring our feet to our parallel first position. So our feet are together here. We're rolling the shoulders down and back, closing our rib cage, pulling our belly button in, actively pushing our shoulders down and back. Now just follow along here. We're gonna go nice and slow. Let's do a dummy plie. So keeping our heels on the ground, squeeze our glutes together and straighten. Again, dummy plie and straighten, dummy plie and straighten one more time, dummy plie, and straighten. Now, listen carefully, we're gonna dummy plie. Keeping our knees bent, let's lift the heels and straighten the legs, hold here. And now bend the knees, keeping those heels lifted. Lower the heels and straighten the legs. One more time, the same thing, we're gonna bend the knees, lift the heels, straighten the legs, hold. And again, bend the knees, lower the heels, straighten the legs. Now let's just do four calf raises. So we lift the heels, keeping the legs super straight, squeezing these quad muscles here. Awesome, last one we're gonna hold and bend the knees, keeping the heels lifted. And we pulse, so straighten slightly and bend. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and lower the heels, straighten the legs. Let's hinge forward at the hips, leading with the chest. Stop once you feel that stretch in the back of the thighs. And roll all the way through, stand on up nice and tall. Bring that outside arm up towards the ceiling, stretching nice and long through the body. Perfect. Let's go to our second position here, still in parallel. So we, our feet are about hip distance apart now, our knees, toes, and hips are all pointing straight forward. And we're gonna do the same thing we just did with those plies. So setting up nice and tall, shoulders down the back, close the rib cage. We dummy plie one and straighten again, two and straighten, squeeze the boobs, three and four. Awesome, now we go back to our dummy plie. Let's lift the heels, straighten the legs, hold, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quad muscles. And now we dummy plie, bend the knees, Lower the heels and straighten one more time. We dummy plie, lift the heels, straighten, hold, push the shoulders down and back. And again, dummy plie, bend the knees, lower the heels, straighten. Now we have four calf raises or four releves. We lift the heels, keeping our legs super straight. Squeeze these quad muscles to support our knees. Last one we're gonna hold. Perfect, and now from here, Keeping our shoulders down and back, we want to keep our torso right over our hips here so we're not throwing our balance off by leaning forward or back or to the side. From here, we're going to bend our knees, keeping our heels lifted, 
and we pulse. Make sure your knees are staying over your toes. We have five, four, three, two, one, and lower the heels, straighten the legs. Let's reach up and over now with our right arm, reaching towards our bar. Awesome. And now stand up nice and tall. Let's reach up and over with the left arm, reaching over towards our bar, feeling that nice stretch along our side. And stand up nice and tall. Awesome. All right. Let's go to our arm circuit now. We'll give the legs a little bit of a break. So you can do this one seated or standing, whatever works for you. Let's sit right here. All right, shake out the arms a little bit. Do some stretching if you need to, grab some water. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with our small circles forward and then just follow along from there. All right, let's get started in five, six, seven, eight. We have small circles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Small circles backwards. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Bring the palms facing forward. We pulls forward. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, four, six, seven, eight. Flip the palms facing behind you. We pulse here. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Flip the palms facing up towards the ceiling. We pulse up here. Keep pushing the shoulders down. Six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, four, six, seven, eight. Flip the palms facing down. I promise we're almost there. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have big circles forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big circles backwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your hands and elbows together in front of you and we pulse up. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, and shake out the arms. One more round, but half the time here. You've got it almost there, and let's begin. Five, six, seven, eight, small circles forward. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, small circles backwards. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, bring the palms facing forward, we pulse. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, pulse backwards. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We pulse up towards the ceiling. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. We pulse down towards the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. Three circles forward. One, two, three, and three circles backwards. One, keep pushing the shoulders down. And last time here, hands and elbows together. We pulse up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, Ooh, and relax. Shake out the arms. Let's do a little bit of stretching. So cross your right arm over your chest, hook the left under, and give a little pull here. Like I always say, that one never gets any easier. Awesome, and switch sides here. And let's hook the hands behind the back if this is comfortable. Roll the shoulders down and back. You can hold here or press your arms away from you. Whatever feels nice, gives you a little bit of a stretch in the shoulders and chest. Awesome, and relax. All right, let's go back to our bar. Come back up to standing if you weren't already. Standing at our bar, we're gonna go to our tendus and jetés. So our left hand is on the bar. We're gonna start with our right leg. He's gonna start with our tendus and jetés. That does not mean our left leg is not working here. We still want to be standing up nice and tall on our left leg, using these muscles in our hips to keep us upright and prevent us from dipping into our hips. So standing up nice and tall, squeezing the glutes together. Our legs are going to be in parallel the whole time. 
we're going forward, side, and to the back. So we're gonna start with, we're gonna do four tendus, nice and sharp, so our toe stays on the ground. You're sliding the leg forward, but again, make sure you're standing up nice and tall. So we're trying to engage all those lower muscles. And so we're gonna do four tendus, we're gonna do four jetés, so the toe comes off the ground, and then we're gonna pulse for two counts of eight. So nice and simple, a little bit faster here. So let's start by going over our form. We have our shoulders down and back, the rib cage is closed, belly button is pulled in. You can keep your right hand on your hip here. Try to keep your gaze straight ahead here. I know it's hard because we want to look down and see what your feet are doing, but when we look down, it brings our whole torso down. We want to make sure we're staying up nice and tall, maintaining our form and our posture. All right, let's get started with those tendus in five, six, seven, eight. We bring that right foot forward. So just sliding on the ground, you can bring your foot to a pointed position here. Awesome, and now we're going to jeté, so lift that leg off of the ground, keeping it as straight as you can, engaging these quad muscles here. One more time, and now we pulse, so that leg stays up and we just come up and down. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and bring back to your parallel first position. So as we're doing those pulses, whether it's forward, side, or to the back, we want to treat, try to keep the rest of the body as still as possible. So we want to prevent ourselves from bobbing back and forth. All right, let's go out to the side now. So I'm just going to face the camera this way. We have Tondi one, keeping everything parallel and back in again, two and in three, last one, four. And now we jeté so that leg comes off the ground. One, two, three, four. And now we pulse for staying up nice and tall in this left hip, three, four, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, four, six, seven, eight. And lower back to our parallel first position. Now we're gonna go to the back. So with this one, it might be easier to bring your hands, both hands to the bar here. And that will help you from coming forward as we lift that leg to the back. So we wanna make sure we're staying up nice and tall as we lift our leg up to the back. So we're feeling these muscles in the back of the thigh and the glutes working. All right, let's get started in five, six, seven, eight. We have tendu, so we're leading with the heel here. We're trying to keep everything parallel, which is not traditionally what you do in ballet, but it's a little bit safer for our hips. And we're going to jeté now, lift that leg off the ground. Two, three, four. And now we pulse, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, keep everything nice and still five, six, seven, eight, and lower. Awesome, let's do a little balance. We haven't done the balance yet. So let's start by going onto, shifting our weight onto our left foot. We're gonna bring our right foot to our coupe position. So that means my big toe is resting on my ankle bone of my standing leg. I'm trying to keep everything parallel here. So I'm squeezing my inner thighs together, squeezing my glutes, pressing my shoulders down and back, pulling the belly button in, and from here, so we're trying to engage as many muscles as possible to help us balance here. And now we can either balance here, bring that hand off of the bar, or you can, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can lift onto your releve. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heel, lower both legs, dummy plie, and the rest. Awesome, we're gonna do all of that now on the other side. So bring our right hand to the bar. We're standing on our right leg. We're gonna go into our tendus with the left foot forward. Again, we're staying, standing up nice and tall on this right leg, squeezing our glutes together as much as we can, pulling the belly button in. Every movement here, although it's a pretty simple one, just bringing that leg forward, we should try and be trying to make it as active as possible. So engaging those muscles and the quadriceps, pushing the shoulders down, pulling the belly button in. This is one of those things that you can make it easy or you can make it harder. This is up to you. All right, let's bring our hand to our hip, push those shoulders down and back, pull the belly button in, and let's get started in five, six, seven, eight. We have four tendus forward with our left foot and in, nice and sharp, two, and in, three, last one, four, and now we jeté so that leg comes off the ground. We have one, two, three, keep your focus straight ahead, four, and now we pulse, two, three, four, and we're trying to keep everything else super still. We have one, two, 
four, six, seven, eight. Now to the side, we have four tendus. We have one, so everything's staying parallel. Two, three, four, four jetés. We have one, two, three, four, and we pulse two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, you feel his hip working here, seven, eight, and lower back to your parallel first position. Position. Now again, you can bring both hands to the bar here to help support your back, keeping you nice and upright while we go to the back here. So you get nice and tall, close the rib cage, tendu back, we have one, and in two, three, Four, now four jetés, leading with the heel here. We're staying in parallel. We have one, two, three, four, and we pulse. One, two, four, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, four, six, seven, eight, and lower. Awesome. We're gonna go and do that balance that we did on the other side. So we're shifting our weight onto our right foot. But we're standing on on this side, bringing my left big toe to my ankle bone on my right foot, keeping everything in parallel. So I'm squeezing those inner thighs together, setting up nice and tall on this right hip, pushing the shoulders down and back, pulling belly button in. So many things to think about. But again, just try to make this as active as possible. Don't just passively sit in this position. Squeeze everything, engage those muscles. You can bring your left hand to your hip, right hand is on the bar. Once you feel steady, once you have your focus on that one thing, Lift your hand off the bar. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you're gonna lift onto your releve. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, ah, three, two, one, and lower everything, demi plie and rest. Awesome. All right, let's make our way back down to the ground. As always, we are going to end with an optional one minute plank. So, Again, don't feel like you have to do this, but it's a nice little way to challenge yourself at the end of class. So with your plank, you can either do it totally horizontally on the floor, or you can bring your hands onto something that's a couple inches or feet off the floor, use your forearms and walk out from there. I'm gonna do mine on the table here. All right. So like I said, you can do this from your forearms or your hands. I prefer my forearms just because my wrists don't really love that position. All right, let's press up into our plank in three, two, one, and lift the knees, pulling the belly button in, pushing back into our heels, pushing away from the floor with our forearms. We have one minute here, already 10 seconds in, almost there. By almost there, I mean almost at the end of class, not almost done with our plank. <laughs> All right, keep actively pushing away from the floor. Like I was saying before, don't just passively hold your plank. Try to engage all the muscles. Push away from the floor. Feel that space between your shoulder blades. Push your knees away from the floor. Feel your quadricep muscles and your thighs engage. We have 15 more seconds to lie by. Keep pulling that belly button in. Don't forget to breathe. Last five, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome, everyone. Good job. All right.